board member, according to policy and procedure, made a written request for discussion of the charter school, and that's the participation of board members on the charter school. The proposal, I don't see it on the agenda. It says within five days in writing to the president or the superintendent, I made the proposal in writing here at the last board meeting. I gave it to the clerk in front of me. I will the president or the superintendent. Is it going to be on the agenda tonight? I will let you know what's going to happen in that regard. I do. I haven't forgotten about it. I understand you haven't forgotten about it. It's a shall requirement in the policy that it gets added to the agenda. Well, Mr. President, if I may, I think to the best of our trustee, I think it should just be covered under old business. It doesn't necessarily have to be on the superintendent's report. And I think that will squash the issue. No, the issue is not the superintendent's report. The issue is not old business. I made a specific agenda request that there be a presentation by board members as to their participation on the development of the charter school that's not a part of the school district and what their participation was. Okay, Mr. Goodside, I spoke to the parties involved, okay, and asked them if they would like to make a presentation this evening, okay? I did speak with them. Now, whether they decide to make a presentation or not, that's up to them. But it's not on the agenda, so they're not intending to do that. I cannot force them to make a presentation if they feel that their application is not in, if they're not ready for it. Okay, but you know what? We will get to that at the appropriate time. We have an agenda here, Mr. Goodside, and we're going to go through the agenda, and it will come up. I would like to object that there is a written agenda. There was a month-long written request pursuant to the policy, and it did not appear on the agenda. And I'm not clear whether I have done due diligence if I have made requests of other board members as to their conduct, and they can say no. Thank you. I just got here, but I wanted to say he requested last month to put it on the agenda. It doesn't matter if they don't want to speak. What's important is that it go on the agenda. That's correct. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so put it on the agenda. But the bottom line is still the same. You've got to put it on the agenda. Okay, thank you, Mr. Goodside. Thank you very much. Breaking the law. This is an illegal meeting. Is it going on the agenda? Can we take a vote as to whether or not it's going on the agenda? No vote required. The point of the order is there's no requirement in the policy. It's a mandatory requirement that when one board member, with or without a vote of the other board members, makes a request for an addition to the agenda, it shall be done. That's 1510 of your policy, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, paragraph 7. Okay, and I just want to understand that we are intending to do or not do due diligence on the issue of charter school to the extent that the other board members who are involved wish not to participate. No, that's not the case here. And what I'm saying is that the request is made of them, and they can make a decision as to whether or not they want to discuss it or do a presentation for the board. That's not the correct procedure. Yeah, but you know what? The correct procedure is to go before the board as a whole, not between two board members to decide whether they want to speak. That's correct. He said it was placed on the agenda last month. He was told by you that it would be on the agenda, and it hasn't shown up on the agenda. Either you are doing according to what you're supposed to do, or maybe you're in cahoots with him. Amen. Amen. So Clay needs to resign. Mr. President, members of the board, we'd like to at this time acknowledge some of our positive young people who have done things that we are 